Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Your Hour to You. I'm Miss Tina and you're joining me for What's That Sound? So, can anyone remember the two hints from the previous episode? The first one is you come to this every weekday so that you can learn. And the second one is there's a king and there's also a... So the words are school and queen like me a queen no <laughs> just kidding but school and queen so i'll give you a few seconds for you to guess what sound these two words have in common remembering cool and queen so give you a few seconds now All right, time's up. So the sound for today is drum roll, please. K k for school and k for queen. You can't see the k sounds. I spelled differently. The k in school is c h, and the k in queen is q. So c h and q. So. Remember that for the next time you're reading, writing, or spelling. So I'll see you all soon. I'll give you a few hints for the next episode. The first one is you drive this to get from one destination to another. And the second one is it's a yellow fruit that you peel. So be kind, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye now. Last lesson I showed you how we can display information visually as a bar graph. What I have in front of you now is a bar graph of the results from another community. Now as you can see on here, soccer was the most liked of all the sports from this community and um, softball was the least amount. Now we can see that quite clearly here because soccer has the tallest tower, softball has the smallest tower. What I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to read this and put it back to a table form, yeah? Because sometimes it's useful to take in a visual graph and then put it back into the table form which it was originally done as a survey, which is called a table. Table or a survey. Yeah, so. I'm going to draw. First of all, I look at the x-axis, which tells me what the sport is. So here we've got the x going down, so I'm going to draw a quick table up. So you start with soccer and you write it on the left. Nine students in that community said they liked soccer. So instead of writing numbers, I'm going to do what we call tally marks, which you may have seen before. We go one, two, three, four, and every five we draw a line across. One group of five there, and then four, so that we can clearly see that that was nine. Yep. Now I'm gonna go through and do all of these. So how many in softball? We had four students. We look at the left, that tower goes to four. Basketball, we got six, so we're gonna put basketball. And I'm gonna draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Other sports, we had only three students from that community. The total number of students was 22 students in total were surveyed and these were their preferences. So that is how you put it from a visual graph back to the table. And if you want to go from a table to a graph, you do the previous step. You draw that always making sure you have your y-axis going down with the amount and going across you have your x-axis. 
every time. That's how you do a bar graph and then you can, you can swap them around so you can use them as you wish. Okay, hi everyone. Some more writing tips from Miss Andrea because I love writing and I really hope you keep on writing all through your life to tell stories. But there's important times when you have to write to apply for a job or to make a complaint if there's something wrong in your house and it reflects on you as a person and the way people take your writing if you do it totally correctly. And one of the most important things is capital letters. Concentrate on that and let's start here. So a capital letter for the first word of any sentence and every sentence. So the cat is sleeping, I've marked that with yellow. We're starting off with a capital, we're ending with a full stop. Now capital letters for all names, especially yours. Don't write your name with a little letter in the front, you need a big letter. So here we go. Have you met my dog, Boomer? Even the dog's name has a capital letter. Everybody's name has a capital letter. Now what about these proper nouns? So they're names of places. So if you're writing that you go to Urara College at Alice Springs, Urara College has capital letters and so does Alice Springs. There we go. Yundamu, everybody has a capital letter for their place. Countries also, capital letter, Australia, Africa, everyone uses a capital letter. And also companies like Coles. If you text someone and say, meet you at Coles, please put a capital letter in there. Remember that. Here's an example. We had a beautiful day in Alice Springs in Central Australia. None of these have capitals in, the, in between, but the start of my sentence, the name of the place, and the country, Australia. Okay, the next rule, which is our fourth rule, capital letters for the first word of a quote. Sometimes, but most times. And a quote is when someone's saying something and you indicate that by these things called inverted commas, like the little tadpoles up here. So Mario asked, what is everyone doing this weekend? This is everything he said with a question mark, but you start the sentence there with a capital letter, even though it's in the middle of what you've already written. Number five, capitals for days, months, holidays, but not seasons. So days, Mondays. Months, June. So all of your months, January, February, March, they all have a capital letter. But if you say, I hate winter, this one doesn't have a capital letter, just a little one. Next one, capitals for most words in titles. So when you go to see a movie or you're looking at a magazine or a book cover, most words, the little unimportant words like an and the don't have a capital letter, but Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, you see all of these important words have capitals. Second last one, nationalities. So some of your teachers are from Africa, you know that, don't you? So their nationality is African. My family's from England, so my nationality is English. And the last thing, your languages. Show respect for your languages and always put a capital when you're talking about them. Okay, Creole, Alawa, Aranda, Pintanjara. Okay, have you got that? It's very important. Thanks everyone, bye. sunset kind of yellow in the sky over the top of the mountain. Do you want some more paper? Yep. Nice, do you need to get some more paper? Like that. Yeah. Just like that. Well, that's one of love. that I would um, take into consideration when doing this task would be to not be too overwhelmed by what, uh, what the image is going to look like in the end. 
um, just take it one step at a time um, and and check your work against mine as you're going along uh, also um, don't be afraid to rotate your piece of paper around uh, it, it, if it helps you draw straighter lines uh, some students um, yeah they, they, they find it really difficult to um, to draw really straight lines but I think a, a trick is to just um, get into the habit of um, uh, developing some rhythm and repetition um, and and you'll find that your hand becomes a lot steadier um, if you um, if you rotate your paper around and um, and just get into that rhythm of doing things over and over again yeah of um, there's a lot of stories that um, kind of come from their mythology like Hindu mythology and um, and they incorporate a lot of that into their artwork but compared to Aboriginal artwork um, yeah I guess like um, you know what there is some Aboriginal artwork that reminds me a little bit of mandalas it's the dot paintings the really um, uh, in the shape of mandalas Okay, so some of the similar things that I noticed with uh, Indian artwork and Aboriginal artwork is that both of them um, do use pattern. Um, so mandalas use um, patterns um, in, in the circle and, um, and I've seen a lot of um, patterns, um, whether it be um, with dot paintings or, um, or I know that there's one artist in Utopia, um, or a number of artists that are painting like this now, um, but the medicine dreaming, um, and this also uses um, pattern and rhythm and repetition, um, if you have a close look at this. Um, so I, I like pattern because um, this rhythm and repetition in artwork sometimes can be really relaxing, like really relaxing to, to do this artwork and also kind of really relaxing um, to look at sometimes. I think uh, if you look closely um, at some of these um, pieces, you can start to see like um, optical illusions in some of them emerging, um, which basically just means that if you uh, stare at it, um, for, for a long time you can start to see uh, the picture start to move and, and I find that really interesting.
Senior students completed a voice survey. Strongway fellows go surfing in Adelaide and Swimming Carnival was a great success. And Sally produces a short film about safety and choices. Good morning, I'm Antoinette Kelly with the URN News. Senior class put forward a suggestion voice by students about what they could do in mixed group and their ideas about making Urara a better place. This was presented as a survey. Here's the results. On their Adelaide visit to St. Joseph's School, the Strongway fellows had an opportunity to go surfing. Let's take a look. Last Friday we had the swimming carnival which was a resounding success. We had lots of fun and the atmosphere was great.
Sully had produced and directed a deadly short film about dangers of throwing rocks and making strong choices. Ah, Brenton, my oh boy, long time no see. Uh, help up with this rescue. And how are you doing? Have you found a lot of footage? Oh, fella. Hey. Hello, everyone. Hey, my daughter. You finally made it. How are you? <laughs> oh, it was a long drive. Yeah. Very long. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Tell you what it's like today. Oh, yes, very good. Took you forever to get here? Yeah. yeah. That smells good over there on the barbie. Who's cooking? Excellent. Can't wait to get into it. Pretty hungry from the trouble, though. Long way. Long way without a thing. I sit back with my family now I'm so happy that my pop just got into town Been a while since all of us have had him around And when he looks at me now I can tell that he's proud Remember all the stories from the times I was young My pop would make sure every single moment was fun In the way we would run, hunt the room with his gun He gave me pride, he was always there for me and my mum Then a friend came along and hit me up to ride I said for sure, kiss my pop, wave my family bye Hit the town with my boys, now they're acting on mad a couple with the pram and knock the cam from his hand Get a rush rolling round, always looking for thrill Afternoon with the sun set, the air was still acting batty But I really want to settle and chill But instead I followed them up to the top of the hill Another day, another choice to make We live our life by decisions and the actions we take Another fork in the road, another path to take So what's the choice you will make at the end of the day? Another day, another choice to make We live our life by decisions and the actions we take Another fork in the road, another path to take So what's the choice you will make at the end of the day? Made our way to the top as I look on down My mate throws off a rock in the direction of town Looks to me and then he says that it's my turn now I stop to think of whether or not my pop would be proud But it's only one rock, what's the worst it could do? Picks one up and throws one too with the rest of his crew Then a loud noise after that a sound of a crash Happened so fast he never got a chance to react They all to a block to check the scene of the crime What he saw him left him shocked as he started to cry Who would have thought that a rock in a car passing by Would lead to the choice how his own grandfather died Now he looks around, none of his mates are by his side They all fled when the cops came to run off the hide Now he feels like he's lost and he's caged inside Prison leads to one thing and that's a wasted life Another day, another choice to make We live our life by decisions and the actions we take Another fork in the road, another path to take So what's the choice you will make at the end of the day? Another day, another choice to make We live our life by decisions and the actions we take Another fork in the road, another path to take So what's the choice you will make at the end of the day?
and now to sports, here's Adele. You are our under 16 fellas, basketball lost 58 to 61. However, great performances from Denzel Gordon, Dallas and Tyrion. And even Elijah had a run and got stuck in. In the fellas under 14 soccer trails, Chris Woods and Denzel Gordon trailed for the Central Regional soccer team, but unfortunately didn't make the final squad. Both played well. Thumbs up to you fellas for giving it a go. Now to weather, here's Jocelyna. Today we can't expect a cooler 24 degrees. Saturday we can expect a high of 22 as with Monday. Back to you, Internet. That's you are a news for the 21st of November 2014. Have a good weekend and catch you later. Bye!